Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to remove a pole from a structured domain. So here I have a circular domain with a pole, or a singularity, at its center. If I zoom in here to the center of the domain, you can see that I have a collection of quads with collapsed edges. That's what makes up the singularity, or this pole. Now, not all structured solvers support poles, so you may need to remove them from time to time. Maybe you've generated a pole and you need to remove it, or you've received a grid from somebody that has a pole in it, and you need to remove it for your particular solver. So the easiest way to do that is to just split it out of this domain. So I'm going to select the domain. I'm going to split in the J direction, and I now have this domain isolated, and I can delete it. So I basically cut out a hole and remove the singularity or the pole from this structure domain. I now need to fill in this void. So to do that, I'm going to grab this domain and I'm going to split it in the I direction three times to create four equal segments. I'm then going to select these four interconnectors and create a structure domain on the interior. Now, this grid no longer has a pole, so this sub topology supports this shape. However, these four elements in the corner have really high included angles and the quality is not that great. So what I need to do is I need to improve that. And the easiest way to do it is just select all the domains and bring them into the elliptic solver through grid solve and set all of the internal edges to float and just run the solver for a few iterations. In this case, I'll run it for 10. And you can see that it's definitely improved the quality of those four corner elements. And we have something a little bit more isotropic. Now, this is referred to as an OH grid or a butterfly topology, and that's how you can go about removing a pole from a structured domain. So thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.